In this exercise, we describe some key API principles and then define REST in general and its purpose. Then we'll have you set up a database connection for an application using an approach of your choice. And then produce a create method on a controller, like set up the scaffolding, and do the same for delete. So go ahead and pause this video, perform these five steps, then resume the video and we'll cover the key principles, definitions, and some syntax that you might have had to use to implement your approach. So the first thing we asked you to do was to describe some key REST principles or key API principles. So from that perspective, you would have thought about the small JSON payloads compared to their XML counterparts. So you might have thought around the REST API from machine to machine or client to machine that you can actually send back and forth smaller payloads. You might have thought about how they're language independent, that it's architecture independent, so long as the standard is followed. You might have thought about how it's stateless and the advantages there. So hopefully some of those were on your list. Next, we asked you to think more about the purpose around REST. So from that perspective, you probably thought about how REST is ideal for client level languages such as JavaScript and how easy it is to integrate into that. Perhaps you thought about the verbs around the definition of REST. So things like push and put and delete and get and how that architecture pattern is all nicely defined to be implemented. And perhaps you went as far as understanding that it's ideal for an ID structure environment because of how REST can be implemented with the verbs. So IDs of the actual business objects is what I'm referring to there. Okay, so next we asked you about the data access layer or basically how to create a connection string. I mentioned you had a few options. The key one here I was looking for is that at a minimum you went into your NuGet package manager and you fetched the corresponding package that relates to your data store. Now I didn't say you had to use SQL Server. In my case I use SQL Server so I went and grabbed you know that one. So if you did this one or perhaps you're using a different type of data store, maybe Oracle or something, you would have grabbed the corresponding package. From there, perhaps you would have created your own interface for the DB context. So you would have created some type of object, all right, and you would have implemented DB context. And then from there, you would have, you know, gone on to actually establish the connection to whatever database you had. And again, that was beyond the scope of what we were asking for. This was just around how to set up the actual connection. So you would have had to have a DB context of some point along with the NuGet package, and then you could easily connect the dots. Next, we asked you to produce a create method on a controller. So for that, you would have had something like this post. What we were looking for is, did you use the correct verb? So in your case, it should have been HTTP post. Okay. So if you had that correct dressing, you didn't actually have to call the function post, of course, just the correct verb. And then produce a delete function. This is along the same lines. Did you specify HTTP delete correctly? And not only that, did you understand that you had to pass in an ID? All right, because REST uses an ID structure as a best practice, so you had to define what to delete. So hopefully you had your ID as a parameter.